The legends and stories of Florida are innumerable. A hundred writers could but scratch the surface in a lifetime of endeavor telling about this land of flowers, its history, its people. The song that uh, is most dear to my heart is Florida Sand. Softly sparkle beneath the bright moon. Night birds are crying, return to me soon. Oh, Florida, Florida, my heart you ever, for always the love of this man is Florida sand. Sand, sand is Florida sand. sun-kissed land Oh, Florida sand Will was the original Florida troubadour and he is the guy who started that aspect of what we know as Florida music. Will had a 12-string Vega guitar that he had gotten from Pete Seeger. Will used to say, don't put a lot of music around that. He said, you're going to ruin the importance of the words. Will had such a deep, resonant voice. I mean, he could really sing. He was so encouraging. Once he saw what you were trying to achieve, then he was right there. And Will McLean taught me an appreciation of Florida. Even as a native Floridian, I had not had or understood it. He absolutely loved Florida. He loved Florida with a single-minded devotion. Will McLean was an artist. I just wish that he could have written a hundred more songs. I loved Will. I just feel real fortunate to have had him be a part of my life. He enriched all our lives. Will definitely had a legendary status among the Florida folk musicians. Will McLean is known as the father of Florida folk music. He's revered as the guy that made it in this little niche called Florida folk music. Will McLean is best known as Florida's premier folk song writer and inducted into the Florida Artist Hall of Fame. Will McLean was born in 1919 near Chipley in the panhandle of Florida. As a young boy, he spent most of his life in the woods and writing songs. Will's love of music was nurtured by his grandfather, who gave him his first instrument, a gourd and cornstalk fiddle with a horsehair bow. At a very young age, Will wrote his first song. When I was six years old, I made up my first little song. And I used to run those woods barefooted, shoot a slingshot. It stuck a piece of wire that was embedded in the ground right at the top of my foot. And I developed a very high fever. And they had me a pallet out on the porch. And it was cold, as I can remember. And that night, it was very foggy and real chilly. And I was awakened by, uh, oh, uh, my Lord, it was such an eerie, beautiful, Found. I had never heard anything like that before. And what it was, was wild geese flying south on their migration. And it seemed like they were going to run right into the top of the house. It seemed like that, that these um, beautiful things were just saying, uh, calling to me, come on, come on, go. Go, go, let's go. Come go with us. Well, anyway, I couldn't go. They passed over. And I made up this little song. And it was called, I called it Away O.E. Away we I'll go When the sun sinks down And the yellow moon is big and round Away we I'll go, away we are flying 
Will McLean was a prolific songwriter. During his lifetime, he penned approximately 2,000 songs. His legacy and influence lives on through his music. You never get to possess the worldly things we associate with fame. But future generations will remember his name. They'll sing his Florida songs and wonder who was this man. I guess I was a little bit surprised at the subject matter because it never occurred to me that anybody would write songs about a specific place or anything. You know, you write love songs or stuff like that, but to make a whole career, dedicate yourself to telling the story of a piece of land somewhere was unique and different. And the way he wove his words together and told his stories, it grew on you immediately. Will said, you need to start writing some songs about Florida. Pay back something, you know, your fifth generation or so here. And he really inspired me to do that. Had it not been for Will McLean, nobody, I don't think, would be writing songs about Florida. I mean, he put that idea in people's heads. He set the standard. He's the guy that laid the foundation and set the standard, and we're all trying to live up to it. And I don't think anybody ever will really come up to the standards of Will McLean and what he could achieve and what he did. He just had that way of inspiring people and also encouraging people a lot. Being a fiddle player, Will's influence on me was more of how to appreciate a song because Will was a songwriter and a great songwriter and poet. Will definitely had a legendary status among the Florida folk musicians. And not only Florida folk musicians, but people like Pete Seeger and folks like that that he had come in contact with. And everybody had great respect for his work, for his songs, and nobody could write a lyric quite like Will. It was definitely unique. For an up-and-coming artist, Will could really be inspiring, and he knew that. He wasn't big in commercial status, so the one thing that he could give you was something that only he could give you, and that was the encouragement of somebody that you looked up to and admired. And I think he understood that and went out of his way to dole that out very liberally. One of the things that was unique about Will's music is that he would especially go out of his way to look for the right words in the lyric because what he was doing was he had a particular image in his mind that when you heard that song, he wanted you to see that same picture that he saw. And so that was his way of painting that picture was to be able to take those words and to put them together in such a way so that you would have that same vision that he had. There's not another state that I know of that has folk music that's associated with their state, but if you come to Florida, you'll hear of Florida folk music. And I think Will is largely responsible for that. Part of the reason for that was because the trip that he made when he was a kid with his grandfather, that I think is what really sparked a lot of this in Will, a lot of his writing of songs. People ask me what makes Will McLean's music important. Number one, he absolutely loved Florida. He loved Florida with a, with a single-minded devotion. His love of Florida just welled up out of him and produced these songs about Florida. There's a passion to them that I think people sense. Why would Mozart or Will McLean be gifted with the ability to produce this music? He was gifted. For one thing, the language he uses is unique. And he did not try to refine his language. He uses colloquialisms that 
are not accepted in ordinary English usage. He was part of that folk revival in the 60s that Pete Seeger was an icon of. In a way, he was part of that, but he was an original. I don't think he knew that he was a Florida folk musician. He was just somebody that wrote songs and sang songs, and he started to be acclaimed by other people as an original Florida folk musician. probably the only songwriter I knew that was successful because Will McLean back in the 40s documented these stories that are true Florida folklore. To us, he's revered as the guy that made it in the, this little niche called Florida folk music. He was the guy that actually got it done and got published, actually put out records in 1948. How he did it, the Lord knows, but he got it done. So we all looked up to him until he died. Now we're doing the celebration. The Will McLean Music Festival is a yearly springtime event held in Central Florida. Friends from all over the United States gather for a few days of celebration featuring Will's music. This public event brings exciting new songs and music lovers to Florida. Will McLean's songs will live forever in the hearts of those who love this blood-stained, blessed, flowered land. Lord, who but the waters of Lake Gold? Words of warning 